there's water in there. Yeah. Can you drink the water? Oh. Now you got it. Try putting it in your mouth. Good job. Okay. Nice. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? A little tiny bit of water. Good job. Very good. <laughs> My OOTD for work is my new pair of cinched black denim, black mock top, and some dark lips, and my clock lip. Wesley and I went to Trader Joe's, Target, and Chick-fil-A today. Very red theme. Wesley loved being out and about. He loved sitting in the car shopping cart, He's just looking around at everything. It was so cute. Um, and yeah, we just got back. I had an hour at home. Alex is home and now I'm gonna go off to work. What is up guys? Welcome to the vlog. We have several roundabouts in our new town and one of my pet peeves is when people stop at the roundabout and like, you're supposed to yield, of course, but like some people just stop. And it's like, come on, that's the whole purpose of the roundabout is to keep the traffic going. You gotta go and get it when you're driving. You can't be too cautious as a driver you just will cause more accidents and make people mad actually my real pet peeve is cautious drivers hesitation is devastation i had a really great day i had two colors this morning that i was really excited about and i feel like they turned out really well so that made me really happy and um tomorrow morning we are going on a road trip so i think we're gonna take wesley for a walk and just kind of chill the rest of the day and then yeah tomorrow will be really fun Today, the holiday cups came out at Starbucks, and I was like, oh, we should go to Target. And, because I have two things to return to Target anyway, um, but it's already four o'clock. So, I decided, instead of going all the way into town to Target to get a holiday cup from Starbucks, I decided to make myself a chai here at home and take Wesley on a walk. So, as soon as he's done with this bottle, we're going to go. Cooking is so easy. Everything you need is in here and it's just like super duper easy. There's a green pepper, there's some olives, clamata olives, sun-dried tomatoes, um, garlic. I think this is rice, cauliflower rice, walnuts, dressing, and special sauce. So everything we need is in here and it's enough food for two people. And then we've got the shrimp right over here. So I'm gonna make this. Wesley is watching Wheel of Fortune. I'm kind of watching with him, but I need him to stay awake for another hour and a half, but he's getting really tired. So I put I put him in front of the TV. All the ingredients right here, this is not sponsored. It should be HelloFresh, shout out. I mean, not HelloFresh. Green Chef. Okay, we're just leaving on our road trip, actually an hour behind schedule. <laughs> hmm. 
There's something else I thought I was gonna bring. I can't remember what it is. Oh yeah, I was gonna bring my book. We are about an hour and a half from our destination. We got our Christmas Starbucks cups. I got a pumpkin oat latte. And Alex got a chai. And Wesley got some milk. I think you get to have some milk. Did you get a special drink? Milky? Okay, I do this every time I go to Walgreens um, or Target when I go get, to get a new nail color. I choose the nail color and then I get home and I think, why did I pick this color? <laughs> but we're gonna go with it. This color is called Not Red B for Bed. Not ready for bed, cute, huh? And so since we're going to my mom's Christmas show and we just got our Christmas holiday cups from Starbucks, I'm thinking, let's just do Christmassy nails just for this week. Then we'll kind of go back to Thanksgiving for a while before Christmas comes. Wow, Wesley, life-size bag of chips at Grandma's. <laughs> dad's house and they she has her christmas show tomorrow so here's a little sneak preview <gasps> it literally is christmas town in here and it is awesome <laughs> from dinner and we went to this Mexican restaurant because growing up I went to it all the time and it was like I have really good memories there and I always thought I always thought the food was so good and I've told Alex about it a lot of times but he had never been there so I was like oh we should go there Alex has never been there I don't know what happened the food was like so bad and the nostalgia was definitely still there, but the food was just not what it used to be, which is fine, whatever. That was probably like 12 years ago, those memories, or maybe longer, probably 15 years ago. But whatever, we're having a really good time. My brother and sister-in-law just got a hot tub, so we're going to go outside and do a little hot tubbing. Oh, dude. Gets better and better. <laughs> Full service. Fargo. Fargo. We're grabbing some coffee at a local place here in Fargo called 20 Below. They have two locations and this is their new location so we're just stopping in to grab some good coffee and then we will head out to the farm. Won't we Wes?
sitting on the trampoline like a big boy. <laughs> So I said this was going to be a quick trip and it is. We are just grabbing some crisp and green in Fargo and then we have to drive all the way back home. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm waiting in the car because Wesley is sleeping and Alex is grabbing our crisp and green and then we're going to make the four hour drive back home. I'm reading this book, The Gospel Comes with a House Key by Rosaria Butterfield and it's super good. It's a bunch of stories about how she is showing the love of Jesus through hospitality and how we can also do that. I just started obviously, so I'm hoping to read a bunch of it on the trip, but it just reminds me that, um, I don't know, we need to be showing love to other people with how we um, give generously and how we show hospitality. And even if we don't have a home, we can still be hospitable with how we um, spend our time with people. And um, we definitely felt the hospitality of my brother and sister-in-law this weekend as we stayed at their house. It was just very um, warm and cozy and inviting and kind. And um, they just loved us so well by being hospitable. And so it's very easy to show the love of Jesus in that way. And it's just really fun to read this book and to be inspired of how we can be kind and show Christ to other people through hospitality. So whether that's by having people over to our house or just loving people when we're with them, creating an atmosphere of kindness and love by being hospitable, by just being nice to people when you're around them, having a good environment and good atmosphere over good conversation. So yeah, and then I've also been pondering just the idea and the thought of being um, grateful and having a grateful attitude and an attitude of gratitude, especially the month of November, you know, Thanksgiving month. But I've been thinking about how, to, what does it actually mean to have a, a gratitude attitude? Like, I'm just going to be thankful in all that I do. And that means not complaining. That means not being picky. Just like being thankful because there's so much to be thankful for. Just even the little things. So I'm trying to get into that mindset because, man, life is so much more fun if I'm just grateful for everything because I have so much to thank God for. So trying to get into that spirit a little bit more. All right, well, we're gonna stop in at Starbucks because we have an hour left. Feed ourselves, change Wesley's diaper, and then get home. I'm gonna end the vlog here, you guys. Thanks for watching. Next week is birthday week, so there's gonna be a birthday vlog. It'll be really fun. So yeah, don't forget to hit subscribe on my channel and support me in that way. And thanks for watching. Bye.